Guys, in this video, let us look at the national immunization schedule for uh, under 5 children. Okay. So, basically, national immunization schedule for infants, children and pregnant women is a component of universal immunization program of India. Okay. So, UIP has been rechristened as Mission Indra Dhanush since 2014. Okay. So, Mission Indra Dhanush. So, the universal immunization program okay under that you have national immunization schedule okay for infants children pregnant women so universal immunization program has been rechristened as mission indra dhanush since december 2014 so what is the best way of looking at national immunization schedule let us directly go to your website and look at it that is the best way to look at, at the latest information right so basically <coughs> This is the national immunization schedule from the website of the government of India. So you can see the website here. Okay. So now let us start at the details here. So basically at birth they will give BCG, oral polio vaccine, hepatitis B. So the one that is given at birth is zero dose, right? Oral polio vaccine, bacillus calmet Gurin, right? So remember the spelling here, Kalmet Gurin. So you will be able to write the spelling correctly in the exam. G U E R I N, okay? Bacillus Kalmet Gurin against very severe forms of tuberculosis only it will protect, right? Let's zoom it a little. Hold on. So you have Bacillus Kalmet Gurin, right? Against severe forms of tuberculosis, oral polio vaccine the OPV zero dose at birth and hepatitis B birth dose. So at birth three things have been given right even dosage has been mentioned actually if you want not here but yeah dosage also you can remember okay then coming to six weeks at six weeks what is given oral polio vaccine one right then you have pentavalent vaccine that is pentavalent means what diphtheria tetanus pertussis all that right so pentavalent vaccine it's having these five antigens it says diphtheria pertussis tetanus dpt right plus hepatitis and hemophilus influenza type b hemophilus influenza is a bacteria that will cause meningitis okay it will not cause influenza it actually causes meningitis so what will it be d d p t H H right DPT H H you can remember pentavalent vaccine so it is a 5 in 1 vaccine diphtheria pertussis tetanus H H hepatitis B and hemophilus influenza so going back to the immunization schedule so guys BCG is given intra dermal right oral oral polio vaccine hepatitis b is intramuscular correct at six weeks what are you giving oral polio vaccine one pentavalent one we saw this dpt hh right diphtheria pertussis tetanus hepatitis b and hemophilus influenzae type b then rota vaccine this is star 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 what is star 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 let us see what star 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 means these are in selected states and districts only they are giving these okay is Karnataka included in this no Karnataka is not included in this list okay so rotavirus fractional dose of inactivated polio vaccine okay this is inactivated polio vaccine IPV fractional dose of then they are giving pneumococcal conjugate vaccine again this is three star right so that means in selected states and districts they are giving right that is pneumococcal conjugate vaccine right so pneumococcal conjugate vaccine what do you know about this so basically it is against streptococcus pneumoniae right it is a gram positive bacteria which can cause meningitis pneumonia especially pneumonia in the name itself it's written pneumonia meningitis etc okay so let's recall guys what is happening at six weeks at six weeks you are giving pentavalent mainly dpt hh you remember this is the most important one here dpt hh right 
Apart from that, oral polio they are giving one dose, then inactivated polio vaccine and rota and pneumococcal vaccines are given only in selected states. So, rota and pneumococcal in selected states. Here what you should know is DPT, HH, oral polio, inactivated polio, rota and pneumococcal. Okay. So, let us move on at 10 weeks. At 10 weeks what is given? At 10 weeks they are giving OPV2, pentavalent 2 and RVV2. So, again this is the same thing. See whatever you are seeing here, the same thing here but the second they are writing 2. But actually it is the third dose of oral polio if you notice right because oral polio had a zero dose at birth. Now coming to 14 weeks same thing you have 3, 3 and rotavirus also 3. And here the same thing continues IPV and PCV2. So you can see here whatever you are seeing at 6 weeks it is exactly same at 14 weeks isn't it. So oral polio, pentavalent, rota, fractional dose of inactivated polio vaccine and pneumococcal conjugate vaccine. So at 6 weeks and 14 weeks it is absolutely the same. Okay. And anyways <coughs> this rota and PCV is only in selected states. Okay. So how is this going guys? Uh, so what are we looking at today? In, in uh, National immunization schedule India. We are focused on India. So basically we have looked at at birth what is given, at 6 weeks what is given, at uh, 10 weeks what is given and at 14 weeks what is given. This much we have covered right. Shall we move on now? Okay. So let's move on. <coughs> we are lo directly looking at the government website. Now let us look at uh, one year, 9 months to 1 year right, Twelve, 9 months to 12 months. This is MR vaccine, measles, rubella vaccine. And um, here you are seeing Japanese encephalitis only in endemic districts they are speaking about and pneumococcal conjugate vaccine they are giving this only in selected states. Okay, that's a booster dose here. Okay, this is a booster. Then what are okay, then let's move on to 16 months to 24 months. 16 months is like what? 1 year 4 months, right? 1 year 4 months, wait. 1 year at 1 year 4 months right because 12 months plus 4 months that will make it 16 months so 1 year 4 months to 2 years what and all will they give let's look at that now so they will give the second dose of measles rubella Japanese encephalitis in endemic districts diphtheria pertussis tetanus booster here they are not mentioning it as pentavalent then you have the OPV booster so here you have the booster booster MMR2 and the JE2 only in endemic districts. Okay. So, guys, when do they give the first dose of MR? Before one year, right? The first dose of MR comes in before one year. Okay. The second dose of MR within second year. <coughs> now, let us go to five to six years. Five to six years, they are giving a DPT booster 2. So, there are two boosters for diphtheria pertussis tetanus. One at 2 years, within 2 years and the other 5 to 6 years they give a diphtheria pertussis tetanus booster. So, two boosters are there for the diphtheria pertussis tetanus and there were how many doses of uh, the pentavalent vaccine? Pentavalent vaccine 3 doses. One at 6 week, one at 10 weeks, one at 14 weeks and the booster for DPT at less than 2 years and DPT booster two from five to six years is this clear is the dpt part clear right pentavalent vaccine 6 10 14 the first booster less than two years and the second booster five to six years so let's move on to 10 years now so 10 years also they have to take vaccination tetanus toxoid tetanus and adult diphtheria td whenever it's a small letter right like d here if it is a small then it means an adult dose okay so tetanus toxoid tt or they can take tetanus and diphtheria okay then 16 years again same thing tetanus toxoid or td pregnant but here here basically we wanted to discuss only under 5 right so under 5 means we'll go till here what do you say okay so this is what we had to cover in this video mother will any case get tetanus toxoid Nowadays, they are giving it along with diphtheria because diphtheria cases are increasing. Okay. Now, guys, uh, just pay attention here to the national immunization schedule. This is different from the pediatric uh, schedule. Look at the Indian Pediatric Association schedule. 
So basically, the Indian Pediatric Association schedule is more uh, having more things. Okay, so basically, they thought uh, let's add some more, and they have added quite a lot. Look at this. Instead of MR, they are giving MMR. They are adding chicken pox, varicella, hepatitis A has been added, typhoid, influenza that is the virus against the virus, meningococcal. Then you saw for against um, human papilloma virus. Okay, they are giving against human papilloma virus, cholera. So a lot of things have been added here. Okay, so instead of MR, they have MMR. Then you can see here typhoid vaccine, hepatitis A, influenza, meningococcal, varicella. Right, a lot of things have been added in Indian Pediatric Association schedule. So basically, in this video, what did we want to cover? We wanted to cover the national immunization schedule for under five, right, under five age. So we have looked at the latest information available from the government website. So basically, let's take a recap, quick recap. Basically, they asked only till under five. So let us say till here, we will tell them, okay. Or uh, in fact, if it is under five, it should be only till uh, two years. See, two years to five years, baby is free, nothing, uh, no injection, nothing. Uh, again, five years they will give it diphtheria, uh, pertussis, tetanus, booster too. But see, after five years, what is happening? Five to six years after that, uh, they are coming to the child again at ten years only. So five years uh, or four years, there's a gap here, and whatever they are giving here is only tetanus and diphtheria. Nothing else is there here. Even at five year, whatever you are seeing is a tetanus, diphtheria, pertussis, right? So you can see that seems to be the focus after five. Okay. So basically, we have covered the national immunization schedule here. At birth, three things are being given: BCG, oral polio vaccine, hepatitis B. At six weeks, mainly you have to remember oral polio vaccine one, pentavalent vaccine, and a fractional dose of inactivated polio vaccine. Uh, these are the mandatory ones in all states. Then again, same thing at uh, 10 weeks, okay. But here, fractional dose of inactivated polio vaccine is not there. At 14 weeks, it is same as 6 weeks. At 9 to 10 months, first dose of MR, right. And then uh, at less than 2 years, they will give the second dose of MR along with diphtheria pertussis tetanus booster and also oral polio vaccine booster. Okay, guys, is this much clear for you in national immunization schedule? Very important to know, okay. That's all for now. Bye-bye. In the next video, let's continue with hazards of immunization, adverse events following immunization. Okay? Bye-bye.